I made a noble attempt this weekend to go to, well, order from Home Depot. And unfortunately, my order just sat there. So, so you go online to their app and you, you know, it tells you what is available and what's not. And you choose it and you put it in your cart and then you say that you want to come in for pickup. So that was Saturday. Granted, it is 4th of July weekend. Actually, it was Friday because I was off Friday. So Friday, it was the 3rd. And today is, what is today? Today is Tuesday. So it's been several days ago. So I put the order in and it just sits there and it says processing, processing will notify you when your order is ready for pickup. And you know, it's been days and still hasn't filled. So I didn't really have time to mess with it anyway. Finally today I called and I said, Hey, I have this order. It's the first time I'm ordering online from Home Depot and doing a pickup. I want to make sure I did it right. If I missed a step, um, my order is just sitting there processing. And so um, the person who answered the phone was very nice and she looked up my order and she couldn't tell why it hadn't been filled. So she had to go ask somebody. She left and she came back to the phone and she said that they didn't fill the order because there was one item they didn't have. And I was like, okay. And she just kind of stopped and didn't say anything else. and. My question is, like, <laughs> I mean, shouldn't the app notify me, hey, this item was unavailable or, you know, we're, we won't be able to fill this item. Like, I don't know. I feel like there should be some sort of notification procedure, but there, there was nothing. There was no kind of notification procedure or protocol for if they had run out of an item. And she's like, you know, I can, um cancel your order if you want or I can just cancel that item off and I said well are you going to get a shipment of that item in anytime soon I mean do you know people may not know because depending on what it is you know shipments may be crazy right now and she said let me check so you know she leaves she goes and finds out and Anyway, supposedly they're getting more on the 13th. And since I'm obviously not in a hurry to do hard labor, I told her, okay, you know, just leave the order open and hopefully when it comes in, it'll be filled and I'll be notified. So we'll wait and see what happens. Um, the saga continues. And by the way, for the, uh, what I really need is soil. The soil, I don't have enough. I need to plant some more plants. We're just, we're barely producing. The garden is not not producing well. Lots of flowering happened, but not a lot of um, vegetables. So I have like two tomatoes. Um, I have. I, I do think it's cucumbers, not zucchini. I'll show you in a second. Anyway, it's summer. I'm tired, but let let me show you the garden, and this video will be pretty short. What? This is, this is shocking. I have not even seen this item. Like, I haven't even, I didn't even see the baby version of it. Okay, there's one. I mean, maybe that's why they're not anymore because this colossal squash is like taking over everything. Yeah, that's like the only squash. So all of the energy of this giant plant, I think is going into this one squash. Um, the other day, oh, oh, there we go, look at that. We have a cucumber. Wow. Man, that's crazy. Good grief. What are these things? I don't even, they look strange to me. I'm kind of afraid to eat them almost. I don't know. Anyway, we'll wait and see what they turn into. It's like a it's gonna be a gourd. Two tomatoes, just kind of chilling. There are like literally no other tomatoes. Wait, wait, wait. We've got some babies. Okay. So we've got some there. There's a little one. 
back up. There's a little one for me. So super glad my garden made a liar out of me. That's pretty cool. I mean, granted, not real sure what's going on with the squash. Um, maybe that's normal. Maybe that's, I'm gonna have to look that up. Oh geez. Um, anyway, I think I'm gonna go out front. I might pull a few weeds, but either way, we'll see if there's a video that follows this or catch you later. Before weeding. And after. Much better. Still needs a little more TLC over in the middle of the garden there, but at least I got the extreme overgrowth pulled and the sidewalk could use a pressure wash. And then of course there's that over there, which uh, really needs some Well, help. that's it folks. Uh, today's update on the garden. I want to leave you with, I think what are called black eyed Susans. So I harvested this. It's actually a zucchini plant, like I thought. Might have harvested it a little early, but uh, the top twisted off. Probably should have cut it like the instructions said to. It said you could twist it, but sometimes it breaks like this. So I'm gonna go wash it, slice it up, and put it in the fridge for cooking soon. The huge, well, bigger than what I expected squash. Uh, it's not ready yet because I could poke my finger on it and easily pierce the skin. So I'm just gonna have to wait and let it keep growing and see what happens there. Anyway, that's all for tonight. Uh, catch you later.